Love is God and God is love. A relationship without God is as good as using it because God is the foundation of love. It's a privilege meeting once again here. We always give God the glory and all the credit for the gift of life that he has given to all of us. My name is Caesar. I work with Scripture Union Uganda. Let's pray as we dive into what we have today. God everlasting Father, we thank you because you are a good God. And teach us as we learn from you this time. And Lord, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Today I want to talk about uh, youth and children ministry. What are we supposed to do? Do you really have a part to play in youth and children ministry? Yes, you really do. How about the children and the youth? Do they have a part to play? Yes, they really do. Today we want to look at an example that comes from the Bible of an elder, his name was Moses. And we want to see the relationship between an elder and a youth when it comes to ministry, when things are hot, what are we supposed to do? Moses have shown us an example in the Bible in order to overcome the challenges, in order to overcome what comes our way. We need to learn from the Bible, which is the word of God. We are going to read from Exodus chapter number 17. Meanwhile, our focus will be in verse uh, 11. Let me read. The Malachites came and attacked the Israelites at Rehudim. Moses said to Joshua, Choose some of our men and go out to fight the Amalekites. Tomorrow I will stand on top of the hill with the staff of God in my hands. So Joshua fought the Amalekites as Moses had ordered. And Moses, Aaron, and Har went to the top of the hill. As long as Moses held up his hands, the Israelites were winning, but whenever he lowered his hands, Amalekites were winning. When Moses' hands grew tired, they took a stone and put it under him, and he sat on it. Aaron and Har held his hands up, one on one side, one on the other, so that his hands remained steady till sunset. So Joshua overcame the Amalekites' army with the sword. Then the Lord said to Moses, Write this on a scroll as something to be remembered and make sure that Joshua hears it because I will completely blot out the memory of Amalek from under heaven. Moses built an altar and called it, The Lord is my banner. He said, For, he said, For hands were lifted up to the throne of the Lord. The Lord will be at war against the Malachites from generation to generation. Verse 11. As long as Moses held up his hands, the Israelites were winning. But whenever they, he lowered his hands, the Malachites were winning. Who were the Malachites? The Malachites were people that were against the Israelites. Who were the Israelites? The Israelites were the chosen people by God that God chose long, long time ago to demonstrate his love for mankind. And he said, these are my people. And something happened that uh, besides the Israelites, God chose to come and be among us. His name was Jesus, because his word became a human being and he lived among us, Jesus Christ. And we are seeing his command to Moses. He says, go and fight. The Amalekites, anything that rise against God cannot win, because when you fight against God's people, you are touching his own heart, and he cannot allow that. What are we doing in this place? And then God commanded Moses. 
to go and attack. And Joshua was on the front line. And uh, Moses, as we have read, and Moses, Aaron, and her, they went on the mountain. I want to take this as uh, from the population, majorly the Africans' population, we have very many young people, followed by youth and the elders. Meanwhile, it's a different story from the other part of the world where we have more of a balanced kind of thing. Meanwhile, others, we have more, more adults, few youth, and few children. But uh, Africans, you're blessed to have many children. This is an opportunity that we have a workforce. We have opportunity to empower them just like Moses empowered Joshua. You as an elder who is watching this, what are we doing to empower the young people? There's, there's already a fight which is coming. The Amalekites is arising in this generation. People are opposing God directly. And very many people are claiming there is no God. That is a lie. Anybody who says there is no God is lying. And this lie is coming. It's coming. It's next to your door. People are claiming there is no God. Those are the Amalekites. What are we supposed to do with the Amalekites? They need to know the truth that the Lord our God is on our side. So you and me, you and the youth, we need to come together. The elders, the church leaders, the bishop, the, the, the archbishops, the pastors. Let's come together. Let, let us come together and face this. A lot of things. People are inventing new skills of, doing, of sinning. People are inventing, just like the scripture says in Romans chapter 1, that people are going from worst to worst. Ladies are marrying ladies. Boys are marrying boys. A man is going for a fellow man. This is a sin which is an abomination before God. This is something the Malachites is bringing plainly. And they, 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 they stay like they are not bothered. And this thing is affecting your child. This thing is affecting your daughter. This thing is affecting the school. It's affecting the community. People are no longer respecting one another. Marriages are breaking. Why? Because of the Amalekites. Because of those who oppose God. So we have to do something in this generation. Let us strengthen the children and youth ministry. You and me. You and the youth together. Joshua was a youth. The book of Exodus was written before the book of Joshua. So Joshua was a youth that Moses was empowering. This is a mentorship relationship, but it goes beyond mentorship. It is mentorship with action. Let's see an example of those who mentored. We saw uh, Enoch. Enoch walked with no one. And the Bible records that Enoch walked with God till he was no more. Moses walked with Joshua. And Joshua continued the ministry. Elijah and Elisha, they walk together. In the New Testament, we are seeing Jesus walking with the trail of disciples. That's why now the good news is everywhere, because there was unity together in advancing the good news. Paul walked with Timothy. Till now, we still remember Timothy, how good he has been, how how passionate they have been working together. So you as an elder, let's not ignore these things. Many people have messed it up. We are entering into funding buildings, 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 projects, projects. We are living life. We are living lives, which is important. You as an elder, you have a church. What are we doing to empower the youth? What are we doing for the Sunday schools? What are we doing? For those kids at school. In some country, unfortunately, they have kicked education. They have kicked God out of education. That's what they think. But God has not left education. In their mind, they have thrown God away. But God is saying, you're joking. I am still here. Even if you ask, my, uh, no, God is aware the world is corrupt. And God has given up on them. But he's raising a generation 
that will restore what has been lost. And Africans, you have the potential. We have the potential. We have the youth. We have the children. Let's be in their lives today so that we don't lose a generation. You are a president. You're watching this. Let's be purposeful towards children and youth. If we lose them, we'll cry. This is a mistake you and me, we don't need to make. It's a painful moment. Don't fall a victim because of money. Don't fall a victim. Everything that you have is for God, including that house, including that car. Moses had to climb on top of a mountain. An elderly, a mosaic, climbing on top of a mountain, sacrificing everything. And he lifted up his hands from morning to sunset. And the Bible says, as long as his hands were up, the Israelites were winning. As long as you a elder, you're standing for youth ministry. The youth who are in the field, they will be prevailing. When they prevail, the country is prevailing. When you raise, when you lower your hands down, you want the youth to fail. Don't blame them. Don't ridicule them. You're saying, ah, uh -uh, let us see. You, you no longer trust youth. Why? You, why are you not trusting the youth? Because you're not building them. Instead of blaming them, build them. Build us. Support us. Walk with us. Fight with us. On that mountain, let your hands be up. Release those finances so that the good news can go to those schools. So that the good news can go to that local place. By this, we'll be doing what God wants us to do. May God bless you as you take action. You will be answerable if you don't act. God bless you. Love is God and God is love. A relationship without God is as good as using it because God is the foundation of love.